Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work offline with Microsoft Lists. Yes, you heard right. If you have a bad internet connection or if you are totally offline, you can still work on Microsoft Lists. And when you are back online, all your changes will be synchronized in the cloud. So every user that has access to your list will see all your changes. Now, going back, Microsoft in the past has worked on a project called Nucleus. The main goal of this project was to create a sync engine for Microsoft lists. Now Microsoft has rolled out this sync engine and there is more. You can install in fact Microsoft lists as a progressive web app. This is very cool because a progressive web app, I remember, is something that minimizes the difference between a web app and a desktop app, and it runs cross-platform. Now, I'll show you every step how to install Microsoft Lists as a progressive web app, and i show you how it works this offline mode. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in office.com. Let me open Microsoft Lists. I will click on the Buffalo menu in the top left corner and then Lists. When you open Microsoft Lists page, you will notice on the right a pop-up here, New Lists Desktop App. This will allow you to install the web app Microsoft Lists as progressive web app on your device. So if I click on the button Install, I can then Confirm the installation process by clicking again on the button. You have another approach. You can directly click here on the search bar, app available. You can click on this icon and then you can install this app. You have the same functionality in Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox and other browser. Now I already installed Microsoft Lists as a progressive web app. What I need to do now is just to type the Windows key and then search for lists. Here we go. It looks like a desktop app now. If I click on this icon, I'm opening now Microsoft Lists. And it looks like desktop app, as you can see. It's a normal app installed on my device. This is the way how I work every day. I love this approach because I have my browser to perform searches or to work on Office 365. And then I have the ability to keep an eye always on Microsoft lists and handle all my lists for my job. You can figure out if the synchronization mechanism is working and running on your machine. If you click on the Lipsys button under a Microsoft list, you will find a new item here, Stop Sizing. This means that you can even exclude lists from the sync mechanism. Now, you have another way to check if the sync mechanism is running. You can tap Control Shift S E, and in the app background processes, you can find a process that is running called Microsoft SharePoint. This process run along with Microsoft OneDrive and synchronize all your Microsoft lists on your device. Now let me open project tracker. I will work offline on this list. Another way to check if this sync mechanism is running is to check if you have this icon. So I have this check mark. This list is in sync. It's already synchronized. Now it's time to go offline so I can show you how it works. Okay, let me click now on the Wi-Fi icon. I will close now my Wi-Fi and I am completely offline now. So it's time now to go back so I can show you that the experience, it works. So I can navigate through every list in Microsoft Lists and it works perfectly. I can, I can display every data. It looks like a desktop app, but this is a web app. Now let me go again on Project Tracker. I will add a new item here. I will just type some data here. Okay, I added some data here. I can click on the button Save. Now the icon change, I have Save it to your device. Your changes will sync when we reconnect. I don't have anymore the check mark, but I have a different icon. 
Now, let me turn on again the Wi-Fi so I can go back online. Okay, I am now connected. And now the, the icon change again. There was a cycle icon and now I have the check mark available. So this means that all my data are now synchronized in the cloud and every user that have access to this list can see all my changes. Okay, we have seen how to work offline with Microsoft Lists. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and consider to subscribe to support my channel and to see more videos like this one. I hope to see you next time. Bye.